Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller and I welcome you to the EU LCS where the winners are made up and the predictions don't matter. I'm sitting here with uh, Nosgaren from Mocket and you guys just beat G2. Congratulations on that insane win. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, I, can't, I can't believe it actually, it happened, uh, it was too easy I think, I don't know. <laughs> wow, okay, just entering it right there was too easy, oh wow. Uh, you got to play against the, f the former Rockhead bot lane, you know, Sean uh, and did, uh, which left for G2 together with HeQ. A lot of people said, oh well, you know, new Rockhead bot lane can't compare to Sean and Wudid. I think you guys showed them, <laughs> you can actually compare. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, playing in uh, on stage, uh, it's completely different to playing on streams, and I think me and HeQ, I think we are clicking pretty well, like already from the first day, we were, we were pretty good friends and I think we have opportunity to become like really insanely good. Like, yeah, I just can't wait. I mean, you were known for your insane thrash mechanics and th insane thrash plays. You, even when uh, you played on Schalke and got into LCS, you just hooked everywhere, hook city. Yeah, uh, thrash my favorite champion or former, I guess. Played him the most out of every champion. So definitely my, my best. So why are you not picking him now? I guess he is not meta, I think, uh, or meta. I think uh, melee champions just uh, just too good right now. Like Tom Kench, Tarek, Brom, they're just too good. Tarek's not too well into. I'm not gonna lie, Tom Kench is really annoying <laughs> as a viewer because you have you keep on having these fights where nobody yeah. dies, and you know the unicorns against Splice game was the same thing. You know, <laughs> all these tanks. Uh, do you think that it's actually fun uh, for the game from your personal perspective, or do you think that there should be you know some more squishy, some mages and support role? Mm, I definitely think uh, like playing Tom Kench is kind of boring, but I mean it's, it's a really good champion. You can make a lot of plays now with the the spellbook. You can have cleanse, and that's you don't have to buy QSS, I guess. And I mean playing Brom, I think Brom is so broken. You just auto attack them and they die. That's like a meme in our team. Just, just auto attack him and he dies. Proc the passive. But yeah, uh, playing the range supports. I don't know when the the like Arn sensor meta was. It wasn't too funny, and I guess that's what the range supports do. They just buff. Uh, an opponent, but with his melee champions, you can engage and like make your like make your entrance in the fight. So is it is it correct to guess that your team uh, communications during fights is just memento shouting? Just just hit him once and he'll die. You're you're, you're Brom. You just hit him once. <laughs> yeah, we actually <laughs> memed about that during the splice game. Like, oh, just just hit him once and he will die. Like Brom passive, but yeah, it's pretty pretty fun. We actually I think we said that uh, once in this game. Like he just <laughs> hit them and he just dies. It's pretty funny. Like, even memeing on stage. Oh, man, that's like next level. You're, you're, you're getting into the heads of your opponent without actually getting into their heads. It's like subconscious. Uh, so you originally got into League of Legends because you got banned from Heroes of New Earth. <laughs> How did yeah. that come to be? I mean, I was like 10, 10, 11 years old. I think like I, I kept like starting a game before like I had to do something. And then my my like my parents would just rage at me and tell me to come. Like I, I wasn't eat dinner. So I just got banned from ranked and playing like normal games or unranked games are so boring. So. Same time, my brother started playing League and he just told me to try this instead of like playing my penalty games so I can play Heroes of New Red Ranked again. And yeah, I liked League of Legends more. So you weren't toxic, you just AFK'd a lot due to having to go to dinner and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know much uh, toxicity or like toxic words back then. I was like so young, so barely knew English, I think. So yeah, I didn't have, didn't have any knowledge to flame back then. I guess you're pretty happy that you made the switch after all to League of Legends. Yeah, definitely. I think Heroes of New Red, pretty dead game, so. Pretty, nice. Pretty safe to say. Now, one thing that stood out about you while you were playing at Schalke specifically was your pink keyboard. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I had a pink keyboard. Like, I don't remember why I bought it. I just like I looked at the like some special keyboards that didn't like weren't like brands. And I just bought, bought the one that looked the most funny. Yeah, pink one, so it was funny. But yeah, don't have it anymore. Uh, now you're going with the Rocket brand, yeah, of course. Yeah. The, the best one, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, we, we we have someone. Yeah, in the one of you in the US. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, of course. Pink rocket keyboard. Okay, so th uh, their social media manager just gave him the insane prize, you know, like uh, Perks gets a free MacBook Air, uh, you know, or gets insane money uh, for winning the ULCS. He gets a rocket keyboard. I think that's the best deal you can probably get right now. Um, so realistically speaking, right, uh, now that you've beaten G2, one of the top teams in Europe, mm -hmm. Uh, who have previously crushed Misfits. I is there any team that you would be actually scared of or where you could go, oh no, we, we really need to watch out against them because you've beaten the Kings. 
Yeah, I definitely think uh, G2 is not the team we are most scared of beating or facing. I think, uh, like at least for me, I think Fnatic is uh, the team I fear the most because I think their playstyle with the, I don't know, the reckless like volume mining like on side lane with Tristana or yeah, like he did before. I don't know what they can pull out now. Like, I'm just really kind of kind of afraid for facing them, but uh, we have a chance of winning. Then again, they just lost to H2K, which yeah. nobody really no, expected. No. <laughs> this uh, season is pretty fun. I think, uh, I mean, Rocket beating G2 and H2K beating Fnatic, so everything can happen, I guess. Fun day. If uh, we, This is before the game, of course, but uh, if uh, Misfits now beat Schalke, Vitality will be the only team that went 2-0 and after the first week of ELCS. They will be clear at the top. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't think uh, Vitality will... Uh, like be the like a top team at the end of the season, but I think since they have like uh, like a certain shot caller, like he doesn't make many mistakes or like he's very confident. I think that's why like the team follows his course, and I think that's why what makes him so good. Same with uh, Giants, I think. I think uh, they have some very confident players, and that gives them like uh, good chances to win in the first weeks. So yeah, when uh, like when the further of the weeks come. I think uh, they're going to fall off, like Vitality and the Giants. They're going to be one of the weaker teams. What are your personal goals now for the season? Uh, definitely, I, we don't, we're not the best team, but I mean, we have, like, if we beat G2, like, we can beat, uh, beat all teams if we practice hard enough. We have a really good, uh, like, mental, like, we're really, uh, like, uh, I want to say. Resilience. Yeah, like, we'd never tilt, like, none of our players tilt, like, we are all super, like, positive and, I think if we work hard enough, we can definitely reach like at least playoffs. Like if we don't get playoffs, I'll be really sad and disappointed. Are you excited to uh, getting to play against your fellow Norwegian countryman Nukeduck sometime down the line? Yeah, I mean, I uh, played against him yesterday, so sucked that we lost against the sub. But uh, I mean, Rocket against subs never, uh, never a good, <laughs> good time. M m message to all the top teams out there. I mean, they are the Kingslayers, but they're so. They are your kryptonite, but if you get in a sub, like Sendu, or uh, just pick a random challenger guy, just get him in for one game and you know, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so is there anything you would like to say to the Rocket fans? Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, thanks for supporting us. Uh, it's been amazing, like my first two games in the LCS. Like, uh, my, heart, uh, <laughs> my heart rate was insane at the end of uh, the game today where we won. And again, yesterday, even though we lost, I think it was amazing playing my first game. So, I mean, thank you for all the fans that came and like took pictures and like asked for autographs and just came to the game. Thanks for like being there. You got to meet Rocket Guy already, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. I know him, <laughs> Lucas. Okay, shout out to Lucas. Uh, thank you everyone for your time. This was Norskern and Darius from the Shot Caller. Have a great day. See ya.